In this video, I will discuss about 5G $326 billion infrastructure. Coming up! Hi guys, Tim with Quantum Financial, bringing you the best investments, helping you make your money grow and outlive your lifestyle with a focused approach. On this show, we do a lot of business news along with strategies and stocks, just like this one. So if you're new here, think about subscribing. With the push of 5G cell phone technology ready to begin in early 2019, with the connectivity of mobile heating up and you hear about the low latency, which if most people don't know, it's a connection that you generally experience with small delay times like loading web pages faster or downloading the movie. On 4G LTE would take 60 minutes to download a movie. On 5G it would take 6 seconds to download a movie. Pretty amazingly fast speeds. The lifeblood is data. The faster the data flows, the more efficiency the network communication systems can be to work. This is the revolution of the global economy as was the revolution of the 3G to 4G, which 3G to 4G brought smartphones, mobile commerce, and mobile banking. 5G is very fast. It's 100 times faster than 4G and 10 times faster than your broadband connection. So it begs to say goodbye DSL and goodbye cable. And hello 5G wireless. Anonymous vehicles, smart factories, cutting edge computer, high performance data processing is real time without the cloud. Healthcare and much more. All of these potential things could lead to better and easier things for us in the future. And the future looks bright. This 5G has an estimated infrastructure spending of $326 billion by 2025. This is initially focusing on key areas, data centers, edge computing, network transformation to 5G network protocols, also known as 5G IP and modems. While all these will see flurry upside, Qualcomm, Intel, Dell, Ericsson will be the biggest winners. Data centers computing nearly 80% of 5G will come from hardware and network projects to support the new 5G. Key players are Cisco, Dell, Hewitt Packer, IBM, and Levino. Data center component suppliers include Edge Computing. These companies will supply, manufacture, and build their hardware. Key players are Intel, Qualcomm, Broadcom, AMD, Samsung, and NVIDIA. Network providers. These players will help telecom and other companies upgrade their networks to handle the 5G. Companies such as Ericsson, Intel, Nokia, Samsung, and Hua. Mobile telecom companies such as the likes of China Mobile, Singtel, Vodafone, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, Orange, and a handful of other operators delivering cell phone service. Who will be the biggest winners? Intel has the most complete end-to-end -end solutions. Dell will lead the data center category and Ericsson should top the network upgrades. Others will benefit too. Qualcomm stands to rake in revenues from every device that uses 5G regardless whoever manufactures modems and other components. Com component proprietors will make the chips that will power the new devices in billions and billions of cell phones and devices. Car carriers will see a huge growth. Infrastructure spending will come first. IP providers should see the longest run for their returns on the 5G. Pay close attention 
of which companies take the lead to launch 5G. And it won't be long before 5G becomes the standard in wireless. This idea, which was just a testing theory a few years ago, is now going to be a true reality. Think of what things 5G could change for you. The time you will save, the money you will save. I see opportunities for stocks to buy and hold forever. I have been buying Nokia for many years now. I'm going to be passive buying Lee Nokia for the next few years. I normally don't buy passive shares, a mass of shares of one share of one company. I do have a big chip maker that I did not list on this video today, but they are a key player and they produce chips for all the major chips companies around the world. I see an uprise of great things to come. What would you like to see in the next video that I make? Please leave a smash like button of what you thought of this video today. Thank you very much for watching my video. So if you're new here, think about subscribing. Until next video, I will see you guys all later. Bye.